So today we're going to talk about a crossover random experiment. Uh, the crossover random experiment is the practical, the normal version of a single individual idealized random experiment that we did last video. So let's go into the details. So once again, we are interested in going to the doctor. Doctor will be our treatment. Uh, the person that we are interested in treating this time, the person we're interested in knowing what the causal effect is, is you. I'm going to again, just I'm going to use this little person to, to denote you. And the outcome of interest in this case uh, will be the number of days that you're sick. So number of days that you are sick. Uh, and I'll call this Y. So if you go to the doctor, maybe you're sick for fewer days. Uh, so again, we're going to start off with a very similar situation. We're going to take you uh, and we're going to find you in two distinct times. Now, the difference here is that these times won't be exactly the same. So I'm going to put a little jagged line here because these times might be slightly different. So we're going to get you during two colds. You're going to have two colds maybe over the course of a year. So we've got two colds. During one of these colds, we're going to subject you to a doctor. You're going to go to the doctor. During the other cold, you're not going to go to the doctor. We're going to then measure how many days you were sick when you went to the doctor. So in this case, Y sub A and how many days you were sick when you didn't go to the doctor. In this case, Y sub not A. Again, we're going to do something pretty simple. We're going to take the difference and this difference will give you our unit level causal effect. Okay, let's really ground ourselves here. So let's say we went ahead we collected the data. We found one time where you went to the doctor, one time where you didn't go to the doctor, when you had a cold that was of similar severity and you measured the amount of days that you were sick. So let's say you went to the doctor and you were only sick for four days and you didn't go to the doctor and you were sick for five days. So you'd simply take four minus five and this would give you the unit level causal effect of minus one. Uh, so going to the doctor basically meant that you got sick or got well one day earlier. So that's pretty nice. Uh, the problem here is that this still contains lots of assumptions. The assumptions are that these two colds are as similar as possible, that there's no other, and we'll discuss this in the future, there's nothing confounding, uh, no confounding variables with these two colds. The idea is, let's say during one of the colds you were much more stressed than the other cold. So let's say during the first cold you weren't stressed, you went to the doctor, you got well in four days. During the second cold you were stressed, you didn't go to the doctor, but didn't going to the doctor, not going to the doctor had no effect. So you would have gotten sick, uh, you would have also gotten well in four days. But the fact that you were stressed meant that you had that cold for one day longer, in this case five days. So this is why I put this jagged line here. This is to represent that these two colds are not going to be exactly the same. Now one easy way to get around this, one way that people generally get around this, is instead of taking two colds, they go ahead and they take something like 200 colds over your lifetime. So they take 200 colds and they go ahead and do something we'll talk about in just a little bit, statistical inference. They go ahead and they average uh, the outcomes from these 200 codes. So 100 colds where you went to the doctor and 100 colds where you didn't go to the doctor. And this will generally help out with this problem. Now, generally crossover random experiments aren't, aren't done in practice. Uh, the reason why is because you're looking at a single individual. You're just looking at one person. You're looking at what your causal effect will be if you go to the doctor. And that's really great. But oftentimes these experiments are really costly. You're going to have to get sick lots and lots of times. You're going to have to be treated and measured each of these times. And it's going to be very, very costly. And this only applies to you. So what people do in general is they do group level uh, experiments. So they do group random experiments where they can try to learn what the effect of going to the doctor on a normal and average individual might be. And so these are also pretty expensive, but they also are much more generalizable. We'll talk about this, the group random level or the idealized group random experiment uh, next time. And we'll show some similar problems that we had here.